welcome to a new vlog. I'm not okay right now, but um, we have some exciting things happening. Okay, we're gonna be going to Tahoe tomorrow, and it's just like a little day, not day trip, but like staycation because we don't really live far from Tahoe at all. We're just going with Julian, Hannah, and Carson because his mommy has a like she lives there, so she has a cabin up there. Anyways, regardless, I'm very excited because I actually went to Ross yesterday and Marshall's just because I was feeling like I need a little bit of juicy in my life. I did post a TikTok TikTok short about it if you guys didn't see, but um I am just obsessed, okay? I was on the freaking hunt and not to mention when I went to Ross I remember just like the clothes just never hit right like I felt like they were a little bit like when I'm still in high school like 2010 core they just didn't sell a lot of cute stuff versus like TJ Maxx they were a little bit more up-to-date but when we went to Marshall's yesterday Marshall's and TJ Maxx are the same thing whatever but when we went um, I usually never bother to look at their clothes just cuz I don't know PS I I just, I feel like the thrift store is cheaper for me, so I prefer to thrift. But regardless, we went to Ross right after because they were right next door and their clothes are so good. They also had a bunch of like juicy jewelry because I didn't show that in the short and I got some. So I figured why not start this vlog off by me showing you guys a little haul. Here's our pile of goodies. I finally bit the bullet and got the Ed Hardy perfume. It was $20. I got this at Ross. I see this all the time every time I go to like TJ Maxx or something and I always end up picking a different one up and I was like, you know what? I, I need to buy this once and for all. And I didn't realize it was like a glass. It's so freaking pretty like the packaging and it actually does like I do genuinely like the smell of it not just like for aesthetic purposes and I like that I have this but then it also came in this container so I could put something in it but regardless very cute as for the clothes I got these shorts they were only six bucks and I just love obviously like the whole tattoo style but I really got these because the back of them say always iconic and and I don't know, I just thought I needed these in my life. I am obsessed with wearing shorts and sports bras as of recently and just like a bunch of jewelry. So it's been like my go-to running out the door outfit. And these are sheer, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna wear like nude biker shorts or something underneath or white, whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. How cute, guys, six bucks this buttercup. This was my favorite Powerpuff Girl. When I was a little, I was always buttercup. My sister was always a blossom and my cousin was always, why am I blinking on the name right now? What is going on? I, we're gonna ignore that part because I literally still cannot remember. Wait, I'm blossom bubbles ignore everything I just said. Ross actually had so much juicy jewelry. They had like the iconic, just regular heart bracelet that everyone used to have. I luckily thrifted that a while back, so I am good off that, but I really liked this. Look at the heart and the peace sign. I don't know, I liked that it was kind of rainbow. It was $7, so if you are looking for juicy jewelry, definitely look at Ross, TJ Maxx, you know, those type of places, cause you might be lucky and find some. I bit the bullet on this one and paid the 35 bucks for these Uggs because I don't know if it's just like the blonde in me now, but I am loving wearing way more color now with like neutrals. I like a pop of color versus before, obviously my hair was the pop of color, so it was kind of hard to do that. But now I just like wearing like one pop of color and having like the rest be neutral. Oh, also these are a little bit more green in person. I don't know why they're coming off so baby blue, but I loved that they were platform. I am obsessed. Also, I was wearing these today. Hannah and Julie got me these for my birthday this year. And now I have two of these. You can see kind of like the difference this one is more fuzzy definitely more of like a slipper vibe if you know what I mean and this I feel like you can create really cool outfits with side note South Pole has unreal glasses these how much were these were eight dollars and Julie actually got the coolest ones I'll show you because uh, I'm sure she's gonna bring them to Tahoe they're literally so cool they had 
amazing like Y2K inspired sunglasses and obviously Y2K is iconic for that I mean obviously South Pole is iconic and I just thought these were so cool and then believe it or not we went to Old Navy and I've never shopped at Old Navy before but Hannah and Julie really wanted to go in there so I was like you know what let's let's look at the clearance section what they have guys five dollars this is uh i think from their sportswear collection but i loved that it looked like a black metallic and i could literally wear this to the gym or wear this out like this is so freaking cute and then i am really into this blue shade lately and these were on sale for 14 dollars, and i was like cool now i have a pair of blue workout leggings and yeah that is pretty much it for this haul so what i really need to do right now is i need to desperately pack so bad because tomorrow morning i'm actually have to take wolfie to the vet because if you guys don't know he had like a little scratch on his leg and they had to not a little scratch it was pretty bad it got infected so they had to time up anyways it's like a check-in to make sure he's good and all of that um and then right after that i'm probably gonna head up to tahoe but i need to um I have the absolute worst lighting in my kitchen, but it's the next day. I just got back from the vet and um, before I go to Tahoe and I literally still have the shower room and everything, but I'm literally starving like a demon. I'm so freaking hungry and I'm too lazy to like really make anything. So I kind of want to just do some pancakes, okay? This is already like pre-made mix. It's this brand right here, Pamela's. I just got this from a grocery outlet and it's pretty easy okay all we need is egg water and a tablespoon of oil but I kind of want to do something different not different but I kind of want to add stuff to it usually I like adding blueberries or chocolate chips and things but I don't have any of that so what I'm gonna do is do cacao nibs and obviously cacao nibs are not sugary like they are just like I don't know freaking cacao nibs but I have this monk fruit sweetener so i think i want to add some of this in here obviously you can add a normal sugar but my diabetic ass does not need any more sugar and this is pretty low in carb so we're gonna do that let's make the mix and here we have our sexy light pink mixer we need one cup of the baking mix like literally this is how easy it is so one cup just pop that in there and i'm not a baker okay i'm definitely more of someone not baker but like i definitely cook more than i like use mixers and stuff so i know there's like a certain way you have to put it down mix it okay leave me alone i just don't care i'm trying to make my pancakes as fast as possible because i need to go and hit the road already and it's supposed to be two third cups water and I for some reason can't find that measuring cup So we're just gonna barely fill up the one cup. Um, I'm assuming that's what it is, you know, like just I don't know seems seems like that's how much I would need and then as We're done with that. You need one large egg obviously one tablespoon of oil So I'm just gonna I don't know do regular olive oil or whatever. I don't care if you're not supposed to use olive oil I'm just gonna do whatever pop that in there all right get her nice and nice and good as for the chocolate chips and stuff i'm literally just gonna eyeball it like just i like a lot so i put some in there and then the sweetener again i'm just gonna eyeball it because i don't know why not the only thing it's like you don't want it too sweet you know because we have jam we have peanut butter we have maple syrup so if it doesn't end up being like that sweet it's honestly perfectly fine so i'm just gonna put some in there i feel like that could be okay and then last time I put vanilla in there, but I feel like this is okay now that I did this because I made these the other day and I did like a hint of vanilla, but I couldn't really taste the vanilla. So I think I like messed that up or whatever. Oh my God, I almost forgot my egg. So let's put in the egg. Hopefully these are not bad because they've been in the fridge for a while. I'm not even gonna lie to you. All right. We've got the egg in there. Just watching me because we still haven't moved the cat tower. Let's put her down. Nice.
honestly, bone apple tea. We are on our way currently to Tahoe. This is literally the worst angle ever, but I am just so excited. I love, I'm like literally obsessed with the drive from our house to Tahoe and it is just so like the freaking trees and the nature. I mean, I doubt you guys care, but it's just so pretty. Like the amount of different trees, like I've never seen anything really like it if we're being honest it's just so pretty with the water it's literally the prettiest highway ever i think it's like highway 88 or something like that but yeah we're just stopped right now which is why they're doing like a bunch of road work it's actually really sad because um there was like that huge fire that was here i want to say I want to say last year, but I'm pretty sure it was almost two years ago. Like, that's how long it's been. And all of the trees that hit this area pretty bad. Like, you can see, like, that's literally all dead stuff. And the trees usually around this area are, like, bright green. And we're, like, right by the lake, too. I'm just so annoyed because I went to my favorite little place where I can get a sandwich. And I wanted to get, you know, my tuna sandwich. And sadly, they were all out of tuna. So I was like, are you kidding me? So I was like, you know what, it's fine. But I really wanted to get the sandwich and like sit by the lake, kind of like have some me time and read my book on my way up there. But clearly that's not happening. So we're just gonna be driving and enjoying the view. I don't know how interesting this exactly is, but literally look at all of the dead trees. Like quite literally this entire area is dead like this is where the fire really hit you can see they're like knocking down the trees and stuff more construction and stopped right on the lake so um yeah it's literally just construction all the way down because the fire was so huge that as you can see it just hit like all the way down the highway so i'm going in Insane. I'm going insane. Honestly, I'm just so hungry. Like, I really just would like a sandwich and a coffee. Like, the only thing that sucks about driving down this highway is, yeah, it's like a pretty view, but it's literally like nothing. Um, if you guys have heard of Kirkwood, that's like where it kind of is off of. Anyways, it's literally in the middle of nowhere. So there's like no like places to stop or get coffee. Like, I think there might be restaurants like in Kirkwood and stuff like that, but but I'm not gonna go out of my way to do that. Like, I just want one right off the highway, please. We are now in Tahoe, and I just stopped by Sprouts Cafe, not to be, like, confused with, like, Sprouts, the store or whatever, but I got myself a black coffee because I'm literally falling asleep, and it's really good because my sugar is dropping like a psychopath right now, so I might not even have to take insulin, but I literally, it was one of those things where I was so hungry, I didn't know what to get, and I just decided to get this open face tuna melt. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna go to the cabin first because it's literally like down the street and I'm gonna eat it properly. The fact that I don't have service here either, which is weird. Um, I don't know if like power lines got knocked down because they usually have like a little bit of service, but the entire time I've been in Tahoe so far, I have not had service. So I'm not able to like call Julie or anyone. So we shall see, I'll see you at the cabin. It, the way it's fucking dark and you can't see anything. I'm back home now and um, I have my little second coffee of the day. It's been a couple days, I'm not gonna lie. I figured since I showed you guys like my little nighttime skincare routine a couple vlogs ago, why not just do the morning one, all right? We have a little bit to a late start this morning because I've literally been running around all day, okay? Post office, vet, all the good things. And so now we're finally getting ready. I glued the press on nails that were in my last haul. I just pressed them on this morning. So we'll see how they hold up, but I'm literally obsessed with them. But as far as skin, I just washed my face with the Youth to the People. This everybody talks about. Um, this was one of the things that again was in the Beauty Fest little bag. You can see how much I've used. I'm gonna be honest, I don't notice like a crazy difference in my skin at all if anything I feel like it kind of dries out my skin so this might be a little bit too like harsh but I know that a lot of people have had great experiences with this however I feel like it does like dry out my face just like a little bit but I'm still using it because I'm not noticing any like big breakouts or anything like that but I'm also not 
like noticing like crazy like my skin kind of looks the same you know if I'm gonna do that I might as well use my face wash which is like the first day beauty that I always use so yeah anyways I'm gonna do the Tata Harper spray you guys know I talked about this in my vlog you do not need this this is incredibly expensive so just any mister I don't know I feel like it just kind of like wakes up my face which is why we're not doing any toner right now because again like how I said I wasn't really wearing any makeup so there's not really any point to toning my skin I love doing that more at night now especially because this is a little bit more drying now we're gonna go in with the Elizabeth Arden hyaluronic acid little like, capsules I love these things just because I think they're fun but obviously you could just do any hyaluronic acid I showed the retinol version of these in my nighttime skin skincare routine and you just plop them open like this and then it just like comes out look at that the perfect amount all right how cute is that I don't know it's just something bougie so and then again these also were in the beauty fest goodie bag I promise not everything was in the goodie bag it's just you know I want to use the products I don't want them to like go to waste and like how I said I did give a lot to like Julie Hannah my mom Jessica so we have all of that and I kind of like rubbing the products into my skin so it's like they get the same effect and obviously you want to put it on your neck as well but I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now and to be honest I don't really think I'm gonna leave my house today um because I already did all of that this morning we're gonna do mainly like TikTok stuff and Depop stuff so that's why I am getting ready now I'm doing the five in one eye cream by first aid beauty I feel like everybody always says like you don't need eye cream you do need eye cream personally i don't know what the skincare thing is behind it nor do i honestly care i just like it because it makes my i don't know it just makes me feel pampered i mean literally none of my friends use eye cream they just use their moisturizer so i don't know talk to your dermatologist or look at Hiram or something and then just basic moisturizer this is pretty much just like the daytime version of the night cream that I use this is the ultra repair cream but this has a pink grapefruit type of scent so it's more like energizing versus the one that at night was like non scented so I like this one just because of the scent you know what this kind of reminds me of you guys might be like Ooh. I know that first aid beauty typically is better like with the ingredients and stuff than most however this reminds me of like the pink grapefruit Neutrogena scrub that I used to use when I was like in high school they had a body wash version and I used to use the crap out of that I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about but that's kind of what this is like reminding me of and then of course we're gonna go under the neck you should bring it down but again I'm wearing a sweatshirt so whatever and then i always try to pull up i mean obviously i'm tugging really hard on my skin um but when i do tug at least i try to tug more up not like down i never apply like this i always go like that and for the last step we're gonna use this super goop every single face watery lotion i actually really really love this i'm not gonna lie this does have like a non-sunscreen smell at all but it kind of smells like alcohol in a way like a little bit tiny bit of alcohol scent and this if you guys like saw my la vlog was in um one of the brunch things like the goodie bags and to be honest i never wear sunscreen on my face until now until this because i've tried other sunscreens like no matter what i do i just feel like every single time my face looks too greasy i don't like it unless i'm like going to the lake if i'm going to the lake or i'm doing some type of like water sport beach whatever i will obviously put that on but if it's just like every day and i'm gonna put makeup on i don't like to wear sunscreen because it i don't know i feel like it just never goes well with makeup or anything like that however this one i've worn under makeup i actually like it it doesn't leave my face greasy or anything like that like it literally just feels like another added bonus to a moisturizer so i actually i think i'm gonna like keep repurchasing this specific one because i really do like the way that it applies and it doesn't feel like sunscreen aside from the smell i don't like the smell but i'm not gonna lie I do like that and I have tried the um, Tula sunscreen and I do like that one for more beachy like if I'm going to the beach but um, I'm not gonna lie that one is pretty like glowy like it does kind of make you look like a grease ball but if your skin is very very dry that one might be good for it however this one is just like basic nothing versus that one has a little bit more of a glow to it so yeah anyways now that I'm 25 
I feel like I have to yell at you. Wear your sunscreen, all right, guys? And that is the completed skin little morning. Now we're gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I should have washed my hair. Um, it's literally looking disgusting. Not to mention I need to redo my roots so bad because they are looking, they're like turning yellow now. And I use shampoo, purple shampoo. I've toned it twice, but it's just getting to the point where it's like, no, like you need to bleach your roots. So we're probably gonna do that within the next coming week or so. However, right now we need to get ready and we need to take some probably Depop photos. I want to continue to clean because literally since I've been vlogging again, all I've been talking about is how everything in my house is a chaotic mess and it's freaking me out so little by little i've been going through every room literally just repurging reorganizing so i did my room yesterday and i'm not gonna lie it took like I'm not joking like eight hours i really just looked through everything and i just had real housewives on and today i want to tackle the living room but there's not really anything to go through i just kind of need to clean it up a little bit so yeah and then when we're done with that we're pretty much done with the entire house the only thing i haven't done is like the whole gym area but we don't have like the walls in or baseboards in so it's like whatever plus i've gone through that room like a hundred times um anyways Let's get ready. So I just did my makeup. I didn't do foundation or anything like that because I'm being very lazy, but I did this like lip combination. So I freaking love this because first off, look, it's a lipstick. And then on the other side, it's a lip gloss. And I'm definitely more of a gloss girl. You guys know that I love my lip gloss. Like I can't wear liquid lips or like honestly lipsticks without probably putting a gloss over it aside from the last vlog i was talking about i do like to wear reds but this is like you find your perfect nude shade there's like hundreds i think of nude shades of this well actually i don't want to say that wrong but this is citizen cosmetics and this is one of the brands that was at beauty fest and it's just really cool because it's a small company owned by sisters and they're on the road to help you find your perfect nude and i just love that it's double-sided because stuff like lip products is something that you always have to reapply unless you're wearing again like a liquid lipstick but in terms of like gloss and lipstick and i just like how you can throw this in your bag and it's a two-in-one and you can just reapply and the gloss is not sticky and nothing like that. I am wearing the shade. I'm not even going to say it. Okay, Ibiza. I know that's not how you say it. Okay, I, I don't care. Um, Because I'm literally stupid. But it is that shade. So yeah, if you guys are on the hunt for a good nude, they have so many. Anyways, let's do our hair. I should have showered, but our hot water heater has literally been broken for like two months. So you constantly have to light it. And I don't know how to do that. And James is at work. So we're going to have to make do with our nasty hair so here is our outfit of the day okay we have some terry cloth shorts on this tube top that is literally from high school um this necklace that is from urban outfitters and then this one that is also from literally i think high school we have this smiley ring that you guys know that's from vitaly design and then this Libra if it's ever gonna focus um, bracelet that I made. I already filmed some TikToks and I'm not gonna lie, my hair is literally angering me so bad I should have washed it, but it's fine, okay? We're just gonna power through and take some deep up photos. And here is all the stuff I have still not photographed aside from two bins that I still have. Um, so I'm currently um, a little bit overwhelmed, okay? <laughs> even though I went through and got rid of like, I'm not even joking and I counted like 400 items, but it's okay. All right, we need, like, I have so many cute lingerie pieces that I have not put up, like, a bunch of really cute Victoria's Secret stuff, because you guys know that's, like, my number one favorite thing to wear is lingerie. I have a bunch of stuff from, actually, my closet that I no longer want. Of course, I donated a bunch, but, like, the really cool pieces I'm going to sell. Ugh, have you seen anything cuter? I'm obsessed. 